As we begin tonight, tonight I have this message from the Lord for you. Entering through the open gate to the supernatural. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12. I want to look for one word there. It says in verse 12, The Lord shall open unto you his good treasure. The Lord shall open unto you his good treasure. That, that means the door had been closed before. And he's saying the Lord shall open. It means that before you know the Lord, there are many gates that are closed to your life. Before the Lord has mercy upon you, there are many gates and many doors that are closed. But it says when you come to him, yes, so so when share. you link up with the Lord, when you, are when you, are you touch the Lord, when you allow the Lord to do something in your life, he says the Lord shall open unto you his good treasure, entering through the gate to the supernatural. Yes, the three things we are looking at. Number one, Boundless promises for the supernatural supply. Boundless, limitless, without any limit. Boundless promises for supernatural supply. Number two, hold power over sicknesses and uh, satanic spirits. I want you to say to me, hold you know. power to me, kiss you. Breakthrough power. To me, a drink when you break in power. To me, a good boy, a kind of power that like, comes like a bulldozer. A bulldozer power. To me, a body is a bulldozer. That every mountain of sickness that have been in your life until this night. I come with that power tonight. I come with that authority tonight. Every mountain will go. Every oppression will go. Every affliction will go. Every possibility in your life will go. Hold power over sicknesses and certain spirit. Number three, deliver the believer's passport for soaring success. A passport to a you to come to the most power to soaring success. I give you a passport to the two co in Kunimidium. If you get this, you've got everything. So, it's okay, yeah, it's not having you. I have everything. I do remember what I did. I said tonight, I have everything. I said, you remember what I did. Tonight, I have everything. I do remember what I did. Number one, you decay. Number one, you decay. Countless promises. Look at the promises of the Lord for you. Everything I'm reading tonight is just for you. This is for you. I said this is for you. Deuteronomy chapter 28 again. I'm reading from verse 12 and verse 13. Boundless, boundless, limited promise, unlimited, 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 unlimited promise. It says the Lord shall open unto you the good treasure. The heaven to give the rain unto thy land in its season. And to bless all the work of thy hand. Don't miss that. Don't miss that. Every little thing, every big thing you do this year will be blessed in Jesus' name. And thou shalt lend to many nations and shall not borrow. The Lord shall make the head and not the tail. 
the Lord shall make thee the hedge and not the tail. Long time the people of the world have been the head. Long time the people have been demonic powers have been the head. The control everybody in the community. They intimidate everybody in the community. Long time the people of evil powers, they are the people that they're the people that control everything. But this year things are changing. This year you will be the head and not the tail. The head leads the way, the tails follow on. In every community, you will be the head. In your schools and colleges, you will be the head. In your cities and the provinces, you will be the head. It's the boundless promise of the Lord for the year. And then it says, And thou shalt be above only. Now, I, I shall not be beneath. Now if thou shalt hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, which I commanded this day to observe and to do there. Psalm 34. We're looking at the boundless promises of the Lord. Psalm 34. I'm reading from verse 12. What man is he that desireth life? and loveth many days that he may see good. The Lord is asking for those who have the desire. And he said, this year I want to be different. You know, there are people that are just satisfied with empty religion. They're satisfied with what they got many years ago. But all that will change this year. They told me at the airport. One of those journalists, was, they were interviewing me in the, at the airport. And he said, oh, so full pastor, uh, pastor, tell me, how is it? Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, How is it that you know many of And he said, In deeper life. He, he even pointed to deeper life. He said that many of the uh, deeper life uh, people that she knows, they are not married. They are waiting and waiting and waiting. He said, how long are they going to wait? I said, that's why I'm going to come and see to go and cut <laughs> short that road. That's why I come. I said, that's why I come. All that waiting and waiting and waiting, I'm going to stop it. No, I can't. I Make someone of any way. If you are not married yet, get ready. I came for you. You are married, no child. Get ready. I came for you. Who is it that wants to see a good day? You will see a good day. Your life will be beautiful. Every good thing you desire in your life, the Lord will do it for you in Jesus' name. To wipe away your tears. When you see your your life will never be the same again. Psalm 81, Psalm 81 verse 10. In Psalm 81 verse 10, here is what the Lord is challenging you. 81 verse 10. Here is what it says. Tonight is going to be a great night. I am the Lord thy God. When you become born again, I am the Lord thy God. When you forsake all your sins, I am the Lord thy God. When you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, I am the Lord thy God. When you say, no more sin, no more evil, no more backsliding, I come to Jesus Christ. I'm going to stay with Jesus to the end of my life. I am the Lord thy God. Be out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. I'm reading now from chapter 7 of Matthew. 
Yankin came by two Matthew so. chapter seven. I'm reading from verse seven. My two tins, you moon song. Matthew seven, verse seven. My two tins, you moon song. Open doors. A punabi, open gate. You see a punabi, Matthew chapter seven, verse seven. Ask and shall be given unto you. My two tins, you moon song. Mumu some of them are more. Seek and ye shall find. Mumu and Muba will knock and shall be open unto you. Mumu no Benhinemo. Knock and shall be open unto you. Mumu no Benhinemo. Look at verse eight of this. Hey, Mumu, for everyone that asketh receiveth. Now, be a little busano, Onya. How many people are going to receive? Everyone, everyone, everyone that has kept receiving, he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. To him that knocketh it shall be opened. Tonight is your night. It is a night of the open door. Countless unlimited promises for Supernatural supply. You, I come to the bold power. The breakthrough power. The breaking power. I come to this boundless power. You see this in Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 8. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. Speak the word only. And my husband shall be healed. Speak the word only. And my wife shall be healed. Speak the word only. And my children shall be healed. Speak the word only. And every member of our church will be healed. Speak the word only. That person there, your healing has come in Jesus' name. The moment you hear the word of power coming out of this place. I say, you are healed. That door of healing is open. And then you catch that miracle, you get it in Jesus' name. Tonight, tonight is that night. Look at verse 10. When Jesus had it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way. And as thou hast believed, so Let's be done unto thee. That's the word he was expecting. When he said, speak the word only. And Jesus did not have to throw water on that child. Jesus did not have to rub the sand on that individual. The servant that was sick was far away. He didn't even anoint the hand of the centurion to say, go and lay the hand upon that servant. Since the man says, speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. So Jesus did exactly that. And without any intermediary. And without any tool. And without what they call point of contact. And he said, He spoke the word. And he said, As thou hast believed, so be it unto you. And then look at what happened. And the servant was healed. Just like you are going to be healed tonight. I said, This is your turn tonight. And the servant was healed. In the self same hour. It's like you telling me now. Now, you are going to be the centurion. Are you there? What are you? I said, Are you there? You are now standing like the centurion. You tell me. Catch me. Speak the word only. Tell me now. Catch me. 
Tell me. Catch your name. Speak the word only. Cast someone unco, and I will be healed. Now me hold that to me. Say it. Kaka. Speak the word only. Cast someone unco, and I will be healed. Now me me nyaya resa. Okay, I speak the word. And you make cast someone unco. Be you healed in Jesus name. Yes, sir. Yes, demo. That's right. Tap on. That's right. Tap on. It has not changed. Tonight it has happened to you. And you may be seen. You will have a testimony in Jesus' name. It takes sin away. Oh, you born a cop. It takes sickness away. Oh, you are the one who cop. The same process of getting salvation take sin away it's the same process of taking sickness away praise the lord of my soul I that is within me praise his holy name he forgiveth all thine iniquity he healeth all thy diseases the same way he took our sins away he takes our sicknesses away. Say, Lord, I accept you as my healer. I am healed. And then we say, Praise the Lord. And it is done. That's how it will be done in your life tonight. Because He took our sicknesses away. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And he carried and bore our infirmities away. Now fire home, yeah, yeah. He will do it in your life in Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark chapter 2 verse 3. Mark, what do you mean? And he come unto him bringing one sick of the palsy which was born of four. Now what do you mean? What do you mean? I need it. I need it. And when they could not come nice unto him for the press. Now, I'm going to go to the one to me and man on cover the roof where he was. Occupy there, woman. So, and when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. Now, to turn to create a tell when in that swan, a firm with Jan, a poor no more. When Jesus saw their faith, now, yes, who on GD, you know. Not when he saw the sickness, when he saw their faith. Not when he saw the predicament, when he saw their faith. Not when he saw the medical report, when he saw their faith. Not when he saw the seriousness of the matter, when he saw their faith. It doesn't matter how serious the case might be. When he saw their faith. Now, who on GD, you know? I know I have faith tonight. No, you I about you. Now, I swear. I said I about you. No, so I swear. I have faith. You have faith. We have faith together. When you see some faith, something is going to happen to your life tonight. Say, who GD, who GD, I be blessed. See, you may. When he saw their faith, he told, he said to the sick of the palsy, son, that sins be forgiven thee. Now, who on GD, you know? What said I only say about what the body is through? You see that it takes the sin away. Oh, they are making kai. Oh, you on body call. Tonight, he'll take your sins away. And you remember you're born in your name. When that salvation comes, healing will follow. And it's a bit of He prepares you for heaven. The best is you work with heaven. You want to your salvation. And then he prepares to enjoy your life here on earth. That's what he now says in verse 11. I say unto thee, I say, Arise and take up thy Bed and go thy way to thine house. Sorry, for a kete ne kofi. And immediately he arose. Now, mumu wa was sorry. And immediately you will arise. Now, was sorry in Tamara. The sickness will leave your body, Jesus. Let the major with the pedian walk up the bed and went forth before them all in so much that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, "We never saw it on this fashion." Now, was sorry in Tamara. Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10. Luke reading from verse 17. Luke chapter 10, verse 17. Look at what it says. And the 70 returned again with joy. 
said the energy when you come back home tonight it will be with joy joy that you are saved joy that your sins are forgiven joy that you are healed joy that you are delivered say lord even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Even the demons are subject unto us through thy name. Even the powers of darkness are subject unto us through thy name. Even the spirits of captivity that hold people in bondage, they are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Every satanic spirit in your life will fall. Then he said, Behold, I give unto you power. 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 Look up at me here. Some people go to church. When they come back from the church, they're weaker than before the time they went. They go to church, they come back weak. Some people go to church, and when they come back from church, then they're sick. Some people go to church. By the time they come back from the church, their lives is all in shambles. They, they went to church. They didn't go to Christ. They went to church and they're never the stronger for going to church. When you go to church, make sure you see Christ before you come out of that place. As we come here tonight, make sure you come to Christ. And let Christ touch your life. Christ the Savior touch you. Christ the Savior touch you. There are some people say, I've been in the church for such a long time. I, say, I, I remember the good old days. Nineteen such and such. About twenty years ago. The time I came to church, I was strong. But they have spent twenty years in the church. To become weaker than they were 20 years ago. But tonight, as you come. I said tonight as you come and you meet Christ and Christ speaks to you and Christ touches your life he says behold I give unto you power that's ability divine ability divine strength divine authority the power is here tonight I said the power is here tonight behold I give unto you power the threat of serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy over all the power of the enemy over all the power of the enemy thank God enemies cannot destroy your life anymore now you can look at the enemy face to face eyeball to eyeball and say now I wait to Christ I met Christ and Christ has given me power over all the power of the enemy and it says nothing and nothing everybody say nothing nothing shall by any means hurt you thank God we have power not weakness power also to me. Not fear, power. Not sickness, power. To me. Not poverty, power. To me. We don't have a curse, we have power. To me. I have power. Me. To me. I have power. Me. I have power. Me. To me. I have power. Me. To me. I have power. Me. To me. Over all the power of the enemy. Nothing so. shall by enemies hurt me. Amen. Amen. Acts of the Apostles, chapter. Acts of the Apostles, I'm reading from chapter 3. It tells us, reading from verse 6. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, verse 6. It tells us in verse 6. It says, Then Peter said, Silver and gold are by none. But such as I have. 
na dia me wo peter knew he had something ko tell him so baby you know you have something when you say oh baby jesus gave us the authority to use his name yes my to me say for the baby and so peter said i have something but i say me oh baby tonight you have something and you may oh baby such as i have given unto thee na dia mona me dia me oh the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and war na zeti ni yesu christo dia mo na ni told and he took him by the right hand na was so in the form of the The Lord will lift you up tonight. And immediately his ankle bones received strength. And he lifted up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple. Now we're rude men, now we're nineteen, now we're all cursing and praising God. Our hungry, now we're in your company. Tonight will be your night. And you may when you marry. I said tonight will be your night. You said you may when you marry. Number one is a is a boundless promise. You didn't carry to me. Number two is a bold power. What shall we do? Any two me? Number three, the believer's passport. You told me and said, "Did you for passport?" The believer's what? I did it for the tell me out loud catch me kesifa if you are sleeping wake up and tell me oh that's why na catch me the believers watch i did it for the passport passport how do you spell passport spell it for me passport to chema sie i caught you so mm-hmm. people don't know to spell passport it didn't mean spell it Can you spell passport? Spell it for me. Everybody P. Obianka P. Everybody A. I. Everybody S. Everybody another S. Everybody P. Everybody O. O. Everybody R. R. Everybody T. T. I've been wondering since I came into the kingdom. No word you may be free time about him anymore. I see many people are on that side. I do I they never have the passport to come over to this side. No money passport to come over the way. I'm listening to Jesus a number of times. And I'm at Jesus with people go over to the other side. And also me and Uncle Soja no have we're going to the other side. And I'm see Uncle Soja going out of Egypt into Canaan. Yes, from Misrim to Canaan is not like Egypt. Canaan is set Misrim. It's another country. Is an afflict with milk and honey. Milk and honey now. Then I discovered. And I mean who will say those people that try to get out of Egypt. One of us of free me Israel. They tried to get to the land of Canaan. No Canaan as as this one. They didn't have their passport. No money passport. And because there was no passport. No money passport. They couldn't get to that other country. Oh my dear, I'm going to say my new your power. Now be a true me of prosperity. Now be a your dear one. Country of great promises. Now be a bosh of the country of the supernatural. Now be all also I want dear. I I felt I should tell everybody. And I'm a boo say make sure you be able to say get your passport. Say your cloud of your passport. Your passport that it will translate you to this other country. Now my team do all cross our mind in other country I'm talking about. Oh my brother make one say there is no sickness there. Yeah, dear you all this other place I'm talking about. Oh my make one say no infirmity there. And we in your this other place I want to take you to. Now be I'm do all cross no poverty there. Oh my you all this other place I'm taking you to. There is no barrenness there. This other place I'm taking you to. The powers of darkness are not able to operate there. And I'm so eager to tell you how to have your passport. Say you have your passport. We will get there together. I said we will get there together. The passport P is for prayer. P is for prayer. A is for action. Is for action. S is for seeking God. Seeking God. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Hold your body while he's near. Never be the forsaken's way. And the righteous man is sought. And let him return unto the Lord. For he will abundantly pardon. The next S is separation. Get us from the people. From the people. And be ye separate, says the Lord. And I will be a father unto you. And you shall be my sons and my daughters, says the Lord. The people there is 
partnership with God. Partnership with God. O is for obedience. O for obedience. O for righteousness. O for righteousness. Chief there is your tithes and offering. I want you to do and what for your God for your tithing. Hello. I want you to do. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Yeah, you are there yet. I come to announce to you here tonight. The most you say you may say. If you have this passport, so could I say passport we are. You have traveled anywhere. Literally, physically, naturally. Anywhere you want to go, you'll get there. Spiritually, supernaturally. Anywhere you want to get to a life, you will get there. Ministerially. In the service of the Lord. Anywhere you want to get to. You will get there. This year you will enter the land of promise. P for prayer. It is in 1 Kings chapter 3. God called Solomon. Chapter 5. And he said ask what I will do for you. He was, he was the son of a king. That did not give him all he wanted. And no, he was living uh, in the capital of the greatest country at that time in the world. Now what the Amalekite did not give him what he wanted. He belonged to the religion of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Dad Dad did not give him what he wanted. But God said, "Ask what you want." And he started processing his passport with a P of prayer. And the Lord made him the wisest man on earth. The richest man on earth. The most famous man on earth. A is for action. A is for action. You see, there are people that come to cry. They are passive. They never do anything. They never act. Action. Action. Everybody say action. Look at Neman. He had leprosy. He came to the man of God. And of God said, don't, don't come here. Take action. Go into Jordan. Seven times come out, you'll be all right. And the man said, What? The man said, Me. He didn't understand what I'm talking about. No one to make him understand action. No one to talk about action. The people came and pleaded with him. And they were in the past, oh, my father, if the prophet had told you. Ah, to do another thing. Would you focus on that? And so when you are he took action. And okay, can you home? The miracle is waiting for your action. And so you're not trying to get the children of Israel. Can you drop me? Look at the walls of Jericho. Okay, Jericho are first standing there. And the Lord said, Don't just stand there. Don't go for someone you know. Go around one day at a time. You can't own press or daco. Action. No, and on the baby. seventh day you go seven times. And and after after taking taking that action, they shout the praise of the Lord. That's how Jericho walls came down. Look, look at the blind man. That Jesus made clay and touched the eye. Yes, and said, go so wash in the pool of Siloa. No, so and you will be healed. Now, but it was that action. So, yeah, and he went, there. she came back see Lord, Lord if you had been here my brother would not have died where did you lay him and then they showed him take he away the stone they folded it they didn't take away the stone Oh, Jesus is thinking by now. Ah, yes, I made your shot here, bro. I tell you, take here with the stone. In case when you put in the action, action. When he took away the stone, Lazarus came out. Hey, bro, when you put the Lazarus, the Lazarus will come out tonight in Jesus' name. Lazarus, best friend, you may want yes to do more. 
Lord, they don't have any wine. What have I got to do with you? And Mary told all the servants, whatsoever I say, so do you do it? And Mary said, what can be among you? Jesus said, fill all those water pots with water. Action, action. Take it. Take it out now. And he took it out no, the man. and take it to the master of ceremony. No, the cook, it was that change. action no, that yeah, no. brought the miracle. Tonight, when I say, if you are blind, open your eyes. Take that action, open your eyes. You will see in Jesus' name. And you may make us when you're free at one year. What you have for two and you know, but who are you? S is to seek the Lord. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Matthew, what you say, what you are saying, seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We are going to point in the chain of all this shall be added unto you. Many people they don't understand. They are not seeking the kingdom and his righteousness. Because you seek the kingdom and seek the righteousness. And all these things are going to be added unto you. The next S there is separation. You remember Psalm 1 verse 1? Blessed is the man that walketh not in the council of the ungodly. That's separation. Now standeth in the way of the sinners. That's separation. And it's what you are seated in the seek of this comfort. Now one chapter forty fourteen. That is separation. When it's what you are. delight is in the law of the law. And in his Lord does he meditate day and night. Now what you are doing? Where we are now? You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. What he said, do you what it is to contain him? That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Now so abundant bloom. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever you do, you will prosper. I said, whatsoever you do, you will prosper. I said, whatsoever you do, you will prosper. He is partnership with God. Partnership with God. You want to climb a mountain? Let God be your partner. You want to go to the other side? There will be storm on the sea. But let Jesus be your partner. You're planning marriage? Let Jesus be your partner. You want to succeed in life? Let Jesus be your partner. Because passport will not be ready if the P is missing. Oh, passport you any year, so why you can't come be a GBA? Your passport will not be complete if your if your P is missing. Oh, passport you any year, so why could be a Genoa? That's why we are told in Genesis chapter thirty nine. It's not Genesis. It's here the Asanko Genesis country. Genesis chapter thirty nine. I'm reading there from verses two and three. Most of you may look at here the Asanko. No, you move back only me. Look at what you see in verse two. And the Lord was with Joseph. That's all. Now, and the Lord was with Joseph. Now, and it says, and he was a prosperous man, and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Now, I obey man, or side, yeah. Now, what's not in the sea, Missouri, if he was three, and his master saw that the Lord was with him. Now, I knew who said, Well, it didn't cheat. In verse 23, and the keeper of the prison looked not on to anything that was under his arm because the Lord was with him. That's your passport. We know passport now. You have it already. I said you have it already. Miracles are coming your way tonight. The supernatural is coming your way tonight. Oh, obedience. Everybody say obedience. Everybody say obedience. In Job chapter 36, reading from verse 11, Job chapter 36, verse 11, if they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. If they obey him, so, you know, 
They don't obey Satan if they obey the law. They don't obey tradition if they obey Christ. They don't obey the opinions of people if they obey the law. They don't obey the people who want to pull them back into sin if they obey the law. If they obey him, they shall spend their years and their days in prosperity. And pleasures. Isaiah chapter 1, I'm reading from verse 19. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19. Isaiah, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. This year will eat the good of this land. This land is rich. I said this land is rich. If you believe that, say Amen. Would you dear can say Amen? How is it? How is it? It's only the people on the other side getting all the gold in our country. This year you will eat the good of this land. I think that all one is so good you come my mo. I see your baby here dear way yesterday. Look at all the fields and look at agriculture all over the land. How is it only the unbelievers have all this mechanized farming and base and that but this year the people of God shall eat the good of this land. We are so see a bread, no cry yet, now all one you cry among the tona man on it. I see your baby swab. It is the passport that gets us there. Now passport that you call oh for obedience. Get us on the for obedience. This year you will obey the Lord. I feel it will be supernatural power in your life in Jesus' name. Now when you to me, you are for righteousness. Are for righteousness. Is the righteous that shall inherit the land. God has promised something great for the righteous. And the goodness of the Lord will never stop in our lives in Jesus' name. In fact, the Lord is giving you a key tonight. You are going to have the key. Job chapter 22. I mean, from verse Job chapter 22 from verse 21. I will be righteous. I will be righteous. Say that for yourself, I will be righteous. Job 22, 21. And put now thyself with thee. Be at peace, thereby good shall come unto you. Receive my prayer, the Lord, from his mouth. Lay up his words in thine heart. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. You return to the Almighty. The Lord will build you up. Thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacle. Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust and the gold of offer as the stones of the brooks. Here the Almighty shall be thy defense. Now two for be your own map. Thou shalt have plenty of silver. Now two pair our own. I'm talking about somebody there tonight. Thou shalt have plenty of silver. Make sure we want some more. Two pair be your own. I'm mentioning the name of somebody here tonight. Thou shalt have plenty of silver. Me bo be ti two pair be your own. But then thou shalt have the delight in the Lord. Now open your ready mo anika. I shall lift up thine eyes unto God. Now, one man, when you swear, shall make that prayer unto Him. And the Lord will hear you. Now, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Now, and thou shalt decree a thing. Thou shalt decree a thing. Whatever you mention tonight, the Lord counts it as a decree. I said, whatever you say about yourself tonight, the Lord counts it as a decree. And it shall be established unto thee. And the light shall shine upon thy way. Passport. Passport. Everybody say passport. a passport. P for prayer. Tell me, tell me. P for prayer. I can't hear you. P for prayer. A for action. 
And it's okay, can we have as for seeking God? So this is what we are ready. As for separation, so be able to work your own. Be for partnership with God. Here is what the uncle Ponya uncle said. Oh, for obedience. Oh, John, my Ossetti. Are for righteousness. Oh, the John, my Trini. Tell me T. Can I catch him? Tell me T. Can I catch him? Tell me T. Can I catch him? T. Look at Malachi, Malachi chapter three. Malachi, can I catch? You, you want to be rich, here is a secret. You want to be prospered, here is a secret. You want sufficient supply, here is a secret. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Bring all the tithes unto the storehouse. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse. Don't borrow, don't borrow the tithes. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse. Don't divide the tithes. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse. Each part of the tithes. Bring the tithes into the storehouse. You say, I'm going to use it for my business. Now later, I will, I will bring it to God. Bring all the tithes to the storehouse. It is part of your, of your passport. And the kind of passport to the movie. Bring all ye all the tithes of the storehouse. For the children in Amber, the crowd in me. There may be meat in mine house. Let your name tell me fee. And prove me now here with says the Lord of hosts. Now, Mumfa, ye in some of us, for I did not see. If I will not open you the windows of heaven. Say, Mary, me or soon, poor me, Mamma. And pour you out a blessing. There shall not be room enough to receive it. This year is the year of abundance. I fear is the year of prosperity. Yeah, dear is the year of supply. Yeah, 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 Abundant supply, sufficient supply, supernatural supply, unlimited supply, inexhaustible supply that the Lord is going to bring upon our lives. But He tells us. But he tells us, you must have your passport complete, so that when heaven will examine the passport. Okay, I see prayer here. I see action there. I see seeking the Lord here. I see separation from evil here. I see partnership with God. I see obedience. I see righteousness. Something is missing here. Your passport doesn't have a tea. Your passport doesn't have a tea. Passport. I have a passport. No tea. Can come home. Take your thing back. So we we tell the call. Say I'll make it complete. Tell me I'll make it complete. Say it I'll make it complete. Your tea will be there in Jesus' name. And the eleven it says, and I will rebuke the devourers for your sakes. And he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field. Save the Lord of hosts. And all the nations shall call you blessed. For you shall be the last of land, says the Lord. This is your year of rejoicing. I said, This is your year of rejoicing. And the Lord will do it in every life in Jesus. Are you getting ready now? I said, are you getting ready now? You tell the Lord, oh Lord, I'm going to get my passport. Sure miracles are there. The power is there. Authority is there. All the supernatural things are for me. They are there for me this year in Jesus' name. The promises have been given to us. The power that breaks the yoke is here tonight and then the passport now is complete it's time for you to enter the open gate it's time to enter the open gate how many people are going to enter tonight why don't you just stand up and tell the Lord to enter to enter, to enter. To enter. To enter. To enter. we're going to enter what a great power we're going to have 
Tell me what you're doing. What a great breakthrough we're going to have. What a great answer to prayer we're going to have. What a great authority we're going to have. What a great open door is set before you right now. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. Boundless promises. Unlimited promises. Promises for the supernatural. Promise of salvation. Promise of victory over sea. Promise of holiness and sanctification. Promise of healing and deliverance. Promise of dominion and authority. What great promises we have. Promise of children, miracle children for the parents. Promise of marriage for the bachelors and the spinsters. Promise of success. Promises. Promises. Let him save you tonight. Let him forgive you tonight. If your sins remain what you till you die, you will go to hell. Come in, Lord. Come in today. Come in to stay. Come in today. Come in to stay. And give me the grace to live in righteousness for the rest of my days. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. As bad and eyes closed, this is the most important time. Very important essential time that you have the grace of God in your life. I want to give you the chance right now. Wherever you are with all seriousness, I will faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. You raise up your hand, I'll be you. Raise up your hand, I'll pray for you. If you speak English, you'll pray after me. When we finish, then my minister brother will with me will lead us in our language and we'll pray together. Almighty God, let me let heaven hear your voice. Almighty God, I have heard your word. I accept. I know I'm a sinner. But Lord, say that. But Lord, I know you died for me on the cross of Calvary so that I will not die for my sin. Lord Jesus, today I leave all my sins behind. By your grace, I will not go back to them. I receive you, Jesus. Say that. I receive you, Jesus. Say it out aloud. I receive you, Jesus, as my Savior. Lord, take all my sins away. Give me your salvation. I accept it, Lord. I know you will not reject me. I know you will not reject me. I believe my sins are forgiven. I believe Lord Jesus you are my Savior now. I have salvation. I have eternal life. I am born again. I am born again. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. After your country, Katawani, the man says so. Katawani, yes, you. Me, that was here, you know. Me, you saw the woman, me. Me, you know. 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 Me di mbali ni naba wani, wakaba ya sani ya naso, awana ushia moja nugu ye, emoja ya di mbe mwana, ushia guma ame, anu mei, me di mbali ni natu wa sani ya nasi, Yesu Christo, so mocha no, pupali mbali ni na, na chue mi di, ewa mkongu mani mo, and that day, before somebody who are there, and imagine, kwa, me na mi na, me sumo, yesu, adu ma odi adu me, me debate na wana se, 
Minkwana nyina. Midawase. Ewa yesu dino. Ena no bompaye. Amen. I'm going to pray for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I shall wear your city according to your word. You have said, Whosoever comes to Christ, he will not cast away. All these people have come. I pray to save them in Jesus' name. Spirit of the living God, bear witness in their heart. Their sins are forgiven now. Give them the Victory over their past sins. Give them grace to live in newness of life. Write their names in the book of life. Confirm it, O Lord. I thank you because I know it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say, Miracle. Essentially. Miracle. Say it. Miracle. It's coming my way. Anyone ready there? To catch the miracle? Keep up your hand. Anywhere you're sick, the other hand there. Cancer will vanish away. Tuberculosis will vanish away. Ulcer will vanish away. See, HIV AIDS will vanish away. Paralysis will vanish away. Paralysis will vanish away. Lay your hand where you have the problem. It's coming, it's coming now. 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 The swelling in your body right there. I command that swelling. Come out in Jesus' name. Deafness and dumbness. That deaf spirit and dumb spirit. I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. Those blind eyes. The hand of the Lord is touching you right now. Spirit of blindness, you have no right to be there. Come out of that place in Jesus' name. Blind eyes, receive your sight. Receive your sight. I pray there will be clear vision for you right now in Jesus' name. Swollen tummy and swollen ania, whatever it is, I command. Come out in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray that every sickness cancer be healed in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis be healed in Jesus' name. All the heat and all the things over your body, I command, be healed in Jesus' name. All the consequences of accident, accident, I command that thing straighten out in Jesus' name. Oh, Message from our pastor, Pastor W. F. Kumoye, the general superintendent of the Palais Bible Church. It is my wish that as you listen, you will accept the old world and you will let them sink into the, your hearts. And by the grace of the Lord, you will never regret it. It is my prayer that by next week, when our, our pastor shall come up again to present another message, you will be there, your family will be there, and your friends. And I believe as you are listening to the message every week, by the grace of the Lord, you will never be the same. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord, because of today's message. We thank you, O Lord, because of the one you let us listen to last week, and the one we are going to listen to the next week, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. If you tarry, we shall listen together once again next week. And if not, every one of us will be there with you in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.